Hey there everyone and thanks for tuning in to Fox 10 News. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Lambers with the latest update on the tropics. We did just get our latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center and a lot to keep an eye on out there. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Actually three areas that we're keeping a close eye on. That first one just off the coast of Africa. Low chances of development over the next five days, possibly not even becoming anything, but just keep it a close eye on it. But elsewhere, two other areas to keep an eye on closer towards the US. Now all eyes on the Gulf right now. That's where we're going to be watching during this time, especially with this latest advisory bumping up those chances of development over the next five days. Now high at 70% that we could see a tropical depression or even a storm form by the end of the week. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on this, especially as it is taking that northwestern track with it. And so what does this mean for us? Well, we do have the potential to see some of that rain coming from this by the end of the week, but those tracks won't get a closer eye on it until it does form that center low and again, it's potentially becoming that tropical depression or that tropical storm by the end of the week, but not wanting to scare anyone with this. We are still early in the season. This is Invest 92L. This is what it looks like closer just towards the Bay of Campeche down in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Those winds right now about 25 miles per hour moving slowly, just meandering around. But again, no center low within this storm just quite yet. Now something to keep in mind. Saharan dust. You have probably heard a lot of this being talked about. We talked about it last year. We want to root for this. This is a great thing to see right now, starting to move into the Gulf. Now what that Saharan dust does, well, it gets your allergies acting up, but also it helps to suppress some of that tropical activity. And so now that we're starting to see more of that move into the Gulf, that's going to help this not intensify any further. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on the Gulf. Also going to start to keep an eye on those models too, but they're not going to be doing very well until that center low is formed. Now checking in elsewhere, we have a tropical depression right now too. Tropical depression number two just off the coast of North Carolina and also West Virginia. Something to keep in mind here. Those winds sustained at 35 miles per hour, but moving away. It's moving northeast right now, so that track for tropical depression too. expected to get those sustained winds up to 50 miles per hour, but then also just be short lived and only live until tomorrow. Now the next next list of names, if that does become that tropical storm, well, the next one would be Bill. That one to keep an eye on in the Gulf potentially could become Claudette and that one just off the coast of South Carolina that could be Bill expecting to get that name later on this evening. Again, thank you for tuning in to Fox 10 News. We'll have another update this evening at 7 p.m. when the National Hurricane Center does update those numbers. Once again, just make sure you stay tuned to us. Be careful what you see on social media.